got two tone bleeding with the roof gone bloody like a Hello everybody. Welcome to Flipbird Fridays. My name is Michael Ogata and we're here with D'Angelo Cuevas. He's a creative with Flipbird Films and also a student at Academy of Art. Go ahead and introduce yourself, D'Angelo. Hey guys, I'm D'Angelo. I'm 22 years old. I'm an art director, cinematographer, and graphic designer. Thank you for having me. So I know a bit about you, but I want everyone else to get a feel for you. Some of the talents that I know that you naturally have is, you know, working your car, repairing it, also, you have a pretty good eye with photography and also drawing. Tell me a little bit about your interests and how you incorporate them into your creative life. I like to surround myself with inspiration always. Um, I have publications from friends. I like taking photos from um, with film. Mm -hmm. I have a really big bias on things that look nice. I like to create things that look nice. I like to surf the web for more inspiration, always finding new new avant-garde executions. That's true, you're very avant-garde. Sometimes more arts than people are, are used to. Why do you feel like it's valuable to stand by that for the most part when we're not doing corporate things? Um, as safe as corporate projects are, I think expressing yourself in your own creative style is important. Um, it's important to get your voice out there as an artist. Speaking of uh, creating something, there's this special project that I appreciated, which is called Strawberry Emoji, something that you made with some um, really good friends of yours. Tell me a bit about how that was sitting on the shelf and how you guys finally just went out there and made that. Strawberry Emoji was definitely a long time coming. It probably clocks in at about eight months in the making. Um, so what happened was my friend Gabriel, he goes to school in London, he hit me up with an idea. We have this mutual respect for each other as an artist, we've been meaning to collaborate, but we really didn't have an idea to collaborate with. So Strawberry Emoji was kind of just an essay that turned into a film. We let our imagination run free on this one. Yeah, I would say so, you know, most folks would go with something very narrative and a common mistake or usual thing that someone starting filmmaking would be is they'd make something somewhat mundane where they get out of bed, then they're cooking something. But you know, in filmmaking, you want to start with action or just go with something that makes you think. How did you guys go with something more avant-garde and why? Uh, the Strawberry Emoji script has a philosophy background. So that could either get really complicated or it could get really boring. So we had to find a happy medium between the two. Um, we really pushed, as artists together, we have a lot of mediums and we really wanted to integrate that into the traditional film look and that way we could get something interesting. Talk about the, um, the mixed media. You know, you guys are fascinated by I don't know, you guys are like old souls. Tell me about some of the mixed media that you guys used in this film. Definitely, um, as we all like to shoot uh, 35 millimeter, 120 millimeter film. Uh, we're into old school like VHS's, Super 8, even though it's super expensive. Um, we thought that mixing these nitty gritty mediums with a really polished cinematic film would be interesting and it was a big balancing game so we just sent it and here we are now. Yeah I would say that using all these different mixed mediums and not being so quote-unquote polished made it surreal and brought us into your guys's world. Definitely I mean today especially with like Instagram and social media everything feels polished and perfect so it's kind of nice to highlight the uh, authenticity or the grittiness to some things. Yeah, um, I would say that you know a ton of young creators out there, even older creators, we deal with the struggle of trying to be perfect or trying to meet the expectations that we build in our own heads. What advice would you give to someone who's struggling and incorporate that with making something like Strawberry Emoji? Hmm. 
Interesting. That's it's really interesting you say that because social media has such a heavy influence on our daily lives. More importantly, as creatives,、um, it's easy to get sucked into. Hey, I have to make this perfect, or I'm not gonna get all these likes.、Um, it's definitely something to just. You really have to just get into it and make it happen, and try not to get caught up in. Oh, is this gonna turn out okay? Is this gonna get a lot of views? You kind of just have to full send and just make it. Full send, huh? That's you guys' is a way of doing things, right? Hashtag full send. Just do it. Yeah, treat your first like your last is what Jay Z says. But being that、uh, we're in shelter of place, I understand that you have another project that you're working on with Flipboard Films. And it's a contest, and the rules are that you have to film within four walls. Tell me a little bit about what we're about to shoot. Yeah, so、um, it seems like everybody's confined to their houses at this time, and creativity is at an all-time low.、Um, this challenge is to make a short film within these four walls and make a concept out of nothing, pretty much.、Uh, technically. You're really pushing your imagination here, so it's pretty interesting to see what we come out with. What do you plan to do to film this, and how are you gonna do it? Definitely less is more.、Um, I don't have my. I am my own cameraman, so things will be super simple. But at the same time, with the concept,、um, we feel like maybe we can combine that and make something great. Yeah, you know, at Flipboard Films, we're really pushing. Uh, by this idea of always pushing the boundaries, going where what's uncomfortable, is this something that you've encountered in your life? And tell me how you've done that to grow. Definitely, there's no growth without struggle. That's for sure.、Um, it's definitely a mind game.、Uh, you have to mentally and physically get yourself over these mental barriers, and maybe that that's the only way you can find progress and grow as a person. I, for me and you, I feel like it'd be nice to just be as human as possible. I agree. I mean, bringing like an authentic, gritty aspect to this perfect world、uh, we so call live in. I think that's the secret formula. Yeah, that's why you suggest for anyone to shoot film over digital, right? Yeah, I mean, film has like its film has its perfect imperfections, where it's the grain, the light leaks, the dust. It's it's definitely an an aesthetic. It's an aesthetic. It's indescribable in some ways. It's somehow capturing a moment for real, for real, right? Yeah, definitely straight from the heart. Yeah, describe a little bit of your process when you just take out a camera and just wander around like the streets of San Francisco. What is that like? What's what's the idea behind that, really? Hmm. I'm lucky because San Francisco is never the same. On a daily basis,、uh, but I wander around the streets in San Francisco, and if something catches my eye, where it's a shade or some kind of weird shape, and I can capture that, then I'll do whatever it takes to get that photo, even if it means I have to hold up traffic. Yeah, that's a certain side of you I've never seen. I remember at Outside Lands, and you wanted to get closer to Childish Gambino. I've never seen you like. Shed so many people and push through. I almost lost you. <laughs> Concerts are crazy.、Um, yeah, but like I said earlier, if you want it, you have to go get it. And no matter what, don't let anything stop you from getting that. Wow, that might be the highlight of this entire project. All right, well, Jello, I really appreciate your time. This is this has been great.、Um, I I do somewhat envy you. Like I wish ten years ago I was. Kind of on the same wavelength, but I'm just pleased that you know we're we're peers at this point. I'm like Yoda, but I'm still happy that you know we're family, and I hope that we keep creating for Flipboard Films. And do you have anything else you'd like to say? It definitely goes both ways. I wouldn't be here without the inspirations and role models that you guys provided for me、um, to set me on the right track. So super grateful for everything. Yeah, everybody, just watch out for this guy. He's gonna be creating. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know what he's by the time he's 27 his art's gonna be like some Kanye inexplainable type of hype so we'll see just watch out for D'Angelo Cuevas see you guys later on. guys thank you full <laughs> sense see you out. <laughs> I put them niggas on gang, what about this mission? Ooh, back in 15, I was right.